that we need to go through. However, the city passing this new zoning unanimously is huge. Now, many are hoping promises made are promises that are kept. Uh, we LG Energy Solution representatives publicly addressed the Holland City Council for the first time Wednesday night. So our headquarter is a uh, big company and the revenue of about eleven billion dollars. The company's newest expansion is going to be inside a Renaissance zone. This zone means lower taxes over the next twenty years. But uh, by uh, passing this one, this uh, range zone, like uh, we we can uh, utilize our resource more to expand our kind of factory. For LG keeping this special zoning, they have to keep up with the promises, like hiring on 1,200 people made to the city and the state, which could be a challenge as many businesses are struggling to hire people. LG Energy Solution Michigan president says they too are experiencing a similar problem. He says they're working on strategies to make sure they can fill those jobs immediately. Actually, we need more people. Actually. So uh, the 1,200, uh, definitely we uh, need to we need to commit that because uh, but, uh, uh, the problem is like uh, we are suffering hiring people. That, that's, that's the problem. So uh, fulfilling 1,200 jobs, that, that's not a big problem. Holland City Manager Keith Van Beek says LG will undergo yearly audits to ensure that the company is keeping up with its promises. But ultimately, the Renaissance Zone is approved at the state level, and the reporting and the auditing of the information annually um, is needed to be made by the company to the state, um, and that is the process that's used to make sure that the um, the promises or the items of in involved with the REN zone in that if we get this, we'll provide this. Mm -hmm. uh, the state has a process in place that um, monitors that. LG's latest expansion, which will add another million square feet to its existing building off 146 Avenue, will focus on building batteries for electric vehicles. They already have an existing partnership with General Motors, who just recently announced a $7 billion investment in the state to build electric vehicles and batteries. We can uh, expect a lot of synergy. So people-wide, knowledge, and uh, we already have experience uh, living in the Holland area. Mm -hmm. We already know how beautiful this city is. So uh, there is a lot of benefit to just expansion, not selecting new location. That's one of the big kind of uh, the reason. And with the draw to Holland, the state is also providing incentives for this project, including $10 million to support affordable housing in the area. Now, this project isn't set in stone just yet. The state now has to sign off on the zoning, and we'll be looking at that later this month. If all goes through, those jobs will be coming to the area by 2025. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.